how far are we from achieving fusion power plants i mean fusion power plants is 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 uh, essentially it's controlled nuclear fusion so there are two kinds of nuclear reactions exothermic nuclear reactions fission and fusion fission is when you split an atom split the nucleus of an atom that's what that releases a tremendous amount of energy that's nuclear fission and you can have a chain reaction of nuclear fission which gives off which is essentially if it's not controlled it's a nuclear bomb if you control it using deuterium, deuterium rods and whatever else then it's a nuclear react nuclear power plant a fission power plant so most nuclear reactors use the fission the reaction whether it's uranium or plutonium uh some you have uh, breeder reactors which produce more fuel than they consume and so on so forth that's that's fission fusion is when you fuse two atoms you fuse let's say two atoms of hydrogen together which gives you a a, a, a helium atom a helium, helium nucleus and that if you're able to do that squeeze them together and, and fuse them that gives off way more energy than a fission reaction so fusion is much more energetic the energy output is way more than a fission reaction but to fuse an atom to get two atoms together requires incredible amounts of energy so to spend money you to, uh, to to earn money you to burn money first right that sort of thing so that's the deal with, with with fusion and we certainly can achieve fusion on this planet thermonuclear weapons are that uncontrolled fusion if you want to see what a fusion reaction looks like look in the direction of our parent star the sun don't look at it directly it'll burn your retinas but the sun is an example of a fusion reaction that's happening in real time i mean you're seeing it 8 minutes 8 minutes something delayed but there you have it so to achieve controlled fusion is extremely difficult it's proven almost impossible thus far but there are certain experiments that are ongoing in certain parts of the world this one in china this one somewhere else in which we seem to be inching closer and closer to achieving sustained and controlled fusion you usually use magnetic confinement of the plasma it's plasma that you're trying to fuse together and you you use magnetic confinement a device like a tokamak or something similar and you hope to achieve fusion with that so i think that's the uh, approach that's been used and i don't think we are very far from possibly having controlled fusion on earth maybe within a decade or two we may we may be able to do that maybe sooner who knows